I do this weekly roundup into comic book horror to enlighten my viewers that some of the best horror isn't on theater screens or streaming services. It's sitting right there on your comic book rack at your local comic book shop. Let's peruse this week's horrifying picks. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Here's what's new in horror comics this week, August 25th, 2021. The Boston Metaphysical Society, Spirit of Rebellion number 1, is from Source Point Press. The story is by Medellene Holly Rosing, with art by Gwyn Tavares. This comic seems to be a period horror story set in simpler times. The series looks to be a sequel of sorts, telling the next tale of Caitlin, who has developed telekinetic powers, which should be useful in attempting to bust ghosts and demons with her fellow ghost hunters during the early 1900s. Looks like fun indie stuff. Touching Evil, number 16, is also from Source Point Press. The story and art is from Dan Doherty. This is a story about a curse that results in death, and all it takes is one single touch. It's gone on for 16 issues, which is pretty impressive for an indie comic. It's got a nice moody cover, too. Looks promisingly dark. Cherry Blackbird, number 2, is from Scout Comics. The story and art is from Joseph Schmalky. This brimstone-like series enlists the titular character and lead singer in her rock band to track down demons that have escaped from hell as a means to pay the devil back for granting her rock god stardom. While familiar, I love this premise and look forward to seeing the monsters Cherry and her band encounter from month to month. Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose, number 129, is from Broadsword Comics. The story and art is by Jim Ballant. Tarot, Raven Hex, Crypt Chick, pretty cool names. And I can guarantee one thing, they all have big, big boobs, well that's two things, and a third. And I bet they'll spend some time in the buff within the pages of Jim Ballon's never-ending saga of wicked and curvy women. Zombie Tramp, number 82, is from Action Lab Comics. The story is by Vince Hernandez, with art by Marco McAgony. Speaking of big, big boobs, don't forget about Zombie Tramp. The Tramp takes on all of her arch nemesis at once in this Battle Royal issue. Vampirella, number 23, is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Christopher Priest, with art by Ergen Gunduz. Just in case you didn't get enough of bad monster gals with shapely forms and little clothing, Vampirella rounds out our trifecta of titular terror ets. In this issue, Priest begins a new arc leading to the blood-soaked wedding of Vampirella. Philadelphia number 16 is from Image Comics. The story is by Rodney Barnes, with art by Jason Sean Alexander. I'm definitely diving into this series soon. I mean, look at that cover. Pretty freaking awesome. What is that, a demon angel thing? Apparently this is a tale of a vampire who has just recently been bit. This color me intrigued, and I hope to know more about this book by the time the next issue drops. Vinyl number three is from Image Comics. The story is by Doug Wagner, with art by Dave Stewart. This series from colder writer Doug Wagner doesn't just focus on one serial killer, but documents the sordid actions of a number of them. The mystery deepens as the body count and the number of killers rise in this morbid and twisted little horror comic. Ice Cream Man, number 25, is also from Image Comics. The story is by W. Maxwell Prince, with art by Martin Morazzo. This big 25th issue contains not one, but two creepy stories of the macabre. The main one is bound to curl the toes of anyone with anxiety about flying, as it tells the tale of a passenger flight that is about to do a nosedive into the earth in 15 minutes. This is one of the best done-in-one horror stories out there, and should get more attention than it does. Batman Reptilian number 3 is from DC Comics. The story is by Garth Ennis, and the art is by Liam Sharp. While I love the look and feel of this comic, I can't help but feel Ennis's take on Batman is a bit off. 
He's building an intriguing mystery about a villain that has torn the Gotham underworld to shreds, though. All this and some of the best art Liam Sharp has ever produced, and you have a winner of a prestige format series right there. Alien, number six, is from Marvel Comics. The story is by Philip Kennedy Johnson, and the art is by Salvador La Roca. While I think the pacing is off with this series, La Roca and Johnson are delivering a potent story. I believe this might be the last issue, but who knows. I'm digging this, but I hope Marvel continues to save this book for the big guns to tackle and don't milk it for all it's worth. So far, so good, though, but Marvel has a track record of oversaturating the market with popular properties, and there doesn't need to be more than one or two alien titles on the already crowded shelves. Something is Killing the Children, number 19, is from Boom Studios. The story is by James Tynion IV, with art by Werther Deladera. I'm still catching up with this series, but I do understand what all the hubbub is all about. It's an expansive story with an engaging characters, yet manages to have sharp teeth and isn't afraid to knock the knees out from under you on occasion. Tynion is delivering his best work here. This issue seems to be a time's past tale focusing on our lead, Erica, going through an initiation of sorts to become the monster hunter she is today. I can't wait to read this one. Well, that's it for this week. Do any of these horror comics interest you? Let me know about it down in the comments. That'll be it for today. Please chime in down below in the comments and let me know how on the nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am, or you can counter with your own review. So guys, you know how YouTube works. I'd love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. I'm not monetized yet, so if you want to help me out, remember to hit all the pertinent bells and whistles down below. Want some spooky comics to read? I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look out for. Both Grave Trancers and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, can be found in only the finest of comic book shops. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on my website, mlmillerwrites.com. If you really want to show your support, I also have a Patreon page, at mlmiller. Look for the link to my Patreon page down below. Thank you so much for your time, and take care. Stuck inside your reality Your doom Oh, your doom Your